What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Show. In 2020, hardware developer Crix released the EverDrive GGX7, the revamped follow-up to the original line of products for the Game Gear. This new X7 grants faster load times, in-game menu, save states, and improved power consumption. It also goes a bit further than its previous iteration, fixing some outstanding issues. In this video, I will walk you through the process of getting your EverDrive GGX7 updated for 2023 and beyond. I'll also give you some simple tips to get you started after setup. Link to the tools and downloads in the description below. Getting started, you'll want to make sure you have a large enough SD card to hold your games. I recommend getting a micro SD card that is about 4 gigabytes. The card must be formatted as FAT32. This will allow you to get a full set of games for the Game Gear, as well as a full set of games for the Sega Master System and the SG-1000. Format the SD card, renaming it something that you can remember. In this example, I named it ED underscore GG underscore X7. With the SD card taken care of, head to the web store for the GGX7. Here you will find the latest firmware, which is of the time of this video, version 1.04. Click on OS Update, then download the zip file at the bottom of the page. Extract the entire SMS sys folder from the zip file onto the root of your SD card. Place all of your ROM files onto the SD card. The GGX7 supports .gg, .sms, and .sg. The file system supports up to 1024 files per folder. You may get into a situation where the files are not in alphabetical order upon powering on the cart. If this occurs, I recommend getting the tool known as Fat Sorter. Run the program on the SD card's root and it will sort the file system for you. Pressing 1 will open a directory or file, while the 2 button will have you go back a page or cancel. Pressing Start or 2 on the file browser will open up the menu options for the cart. Here you will be allowed to modify your settings with GGX7. The options will allow for a few settings. You can turn the in-game menu on or off, set your hotkey for the in-game menu, or hide the system sys folder to prevent tampering. Back on the main menu, you may immediately start the last game you've played or select from a recently played list. Selecting Start Random Game will boot a random game from within the folder you're in. Selecting Diagnostics will run a self-check on the cart to ensure everything is running properly. Upon highlighting a file and pressing the 1 button, a game menu will appear. You may select and start the game, preload the game, or check the ROM information. The GGX7 is capable of playing most Game Gear games without issue. This includes Magical Puzzle Popless and Gunstar Heroes, both of which are nearly unplayable with the original EverDrive. The mappers for Codemasters and Korean games are also supported. Pressing the in-game menu key combination will bring up the menu, allowing you to save and load states. However, this key combination can be seen as inefficient. This is due to the lack of being able to use the start button as an input. 
you may find yourself accidentally pressing the key combo in normal gameplay. If you're an owner of the analog pocket, you can make use of its memories feature to get around this limitation. The GGX7 does not support in-game cheats. If you have a Game Genie, however, you can use it to apply cheats after loading your ROM file. Support for the Master System is also here, allowing you to play the full library of games available. This support extends to the Mark III and SG-1000. MSX games that have been converted to play on the Master System will also work, allowing for one of the very few ways of playing these games in a portable fashion. FM audio is not supported by the GGX7, if you have Analog's Mega SG, you can work around this limitation by having the audio faked by its master system core. Save states are once again available for these games, albeit with the same limitations as before. For games that have save support, saving your game will write .srm files to the sms-sys save folder. You'll want to make sure you're matching the file name of the save to the name of the ROM to get them going. If you're transferring the file to Kega Fusion, you'll need to rename the extension to .sgm. If you'd like to transfer the file to the Mister or the Analog Pocket, I recommend you use the online tool known as Save File Converter. Save states that are created are stored as .sav files within the sms-sys-snap folder. You may only get one save state per game. This concludes the tutorial for the EverDrive GGX7. I hope you enjoyed it and were able to get a couple of cool things out of this video. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Do you have a Game Gear game that you would like to recommend? Any questions for me concerning this video? Let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, consider dropping a sub or a like. Also, why not check this video out? Peace.